Now students resources are generally classified into natural human made and human natural resources says resources that are drawn from nature and used without much modification are called natural resources now natural resources are such which can be used without much modification the air we breathe the water in our rivers and lakes the soils minerals are all natural resources now many of these resources are free gifts of nature and can be used directly now these are some of the resources which can be breath the which water which we are using from the rivers lakes the soils minerals are all natural resources many of these resources are free gifts of the nature and can be used directly and many of these resources are the gift of the nature which we are using directly in some cases tools and technology may be needed to use a natural resource in the best possible way and in some of the cases which we are using the resource is the gift of the nature in the best possible way natural resources are classified into the different groups depending upon their level of development and use origin stock and distribution and natural resources are such which can be classified into different groups depending upon their level of development use origin stock whatever it is available and the distribution which is done on the earth on the basis of the developments and use resources can be classified into two groups actual resources and potential resources on the basis of the usability of the resource it can be classified into two groups the two groups should be the actual resource and the potential resource now actual resources are those resources whose quantity is known the resource whose quantity is known is a actual resource these resources are being used in the present time the rich deposits of coal in rohar region of germany and petroleum in the west asia these are some of the examples of the west asia the dark soils of the deccan plateau in maharashtra are all actual resources now potential resources are those whose entire quantity may not be known and these are not being used at any present potential resources are such whose quantity is not known at present and these resources could be used in the future the level of technology we have at present may not be advanced enough to easily utilize these resources the uranium found in ladakh is an example of potential potential resources which we cannot know the quantity of it that can be used in the future high speed winds were a potential resource 200 years ago high speed winds were a potential resource which we were not knowing at that time now we are knowing so today these are natural resources and wind farms generate energy using windmills like in netherlands the example is given here you'll find some in nagalcoil in tamil nadu and on the gujarat coast so these are some of examples of actual and potential resources hello and good morning all are welcome to this video subject session of ss but today we are going to see the types of the resources so based on their origin resources can be abiotic or biotic so now based on the types of resources firstly it can be classified under two categories that is abiotic and biotic now abiotic resources are non living while biotic resources are living so abiotic resources can be considered as the non living while biotic resources are the living one soils rocks and minerals are abiotic but plants and animals are biotic resources now soil rocks and minerals these all are abiotic and because they are non living but plants and animals are biotic because they are living now another category says that natural resources can be broadly categorized into renewable and non renewable resources so natural resources can be classified based on two categories which is named as renewable and non renewable renewable resources are those which get renewed or replenished quickly those resources which we can replenish quickly with the time so those can be considered as the renewable and some of these are unlimited and are not affected by human activities some of these resources are unlimited and that are not affected by human activities such as solar and wind energy now solar energy is the one which we can replenish and wind energy also 24 by 7 it is available so we can replenish these energies without any kind of such activity yet careless use of certain renewable resources like water soil and forest can affect their stock but one thing can be make sure here that if we'll make these resources use as incapable so this can detrite the quality and one day will come these resources will exhaust we cannot use these resources so water seems to be an unlimited renewable resources water 
Firstly, it seems to be unrenewable. It means we can renew the water with the help of the rain. But storage and drying up of natural water resources is a major problem. And storage for the water problem is there in many parts of the world today. Now in many parts of the world, there is a shortage of the water. And for this reason only, water cannot be replenished. Now non-renewable resources are those which have limited stock. Now non-renewable resources are such resources which have a limited stock. Once the stocks are exhausted, it means once the stocks can be finished, it may take thousands of years to be renewed or replenished. It will take thousands of years to come to be replenished. And since this period is much more than human lifespan, such resources are considered non-renewable. And since these resources are considered more than the lifespan, so such resources are considered non-renewable resources. Coal, petroleum and natural gas are some of the examples. Now these are some of the resources students which we cannot replenish over a certain period of the time or nearest future.